Stand up. There you go. You were dreaming. What's your name? My name is Balmor Blue Addict, and welcome to my new Let's Play of Morrowind. Today, I decided to take a little break from the Time of Rebuilt mod, or playthrough, because there's supposed to be a new expansion coming out soon, and I'm just going to wait for that to keep exploring as it pertains to the southern land of Halalu. But today, what I'm going to do is play a mod. It's a zombie apocalypse mod by Jawalka. Probably butchered his name. Sorry about that, but shout out to him. The mod looks amazing. It brings a zombie apocalypse to Varenfell in a scenario where Dagath Orr managed to spread the blight to all of Varenfell. So now everyone is a corpus beast. Well, we're gonna play as a warrior. Last storm could wake a red guard warrior. I heard them say and we're gonna try to I'm sure they'll let us go. Eat this mod. Apparently it has a, an ending to it. Quiet. Here comes Hold the guard. It takes this you to the main you ending of the game. Come with me. Through activating Wraith Guard. The backup strategy to beating the main quest in case you kill an essential character. I'm excited to see how he incorporated it into the mod. And I'm excited for some mindless zombie killing in Morrowind. Get yourself. This is where they want you. Head down to the dock and I'll show you to the census office. Oh, we can already see the corpus. You finally piece. arrived, but our records don't show from where. Do you even care, my friend? So, as I said, we're going to play Red Guard. Great. I'm Red sure you'll fit great. right they in. Follow me up resist to the office disease. and they'll finish your release. They have long blade skill and athletics. What do you want? And their adrenaline rush power will be helpful. Yes. Ah, yes. We've been expecting you. Uh, you'll have to be recorded before you're officially released. There are a few ways we can do this, and the choice is yours. Everyone's just so nonchalant about the zombie apocalypse outside. Okay, so Venture will stay with that. Doesn't really matter. We will go for combat, strength, and endurance. Of course, we'll go for the long blade. Where, where the hell is it? Long blade. I sort of want some marksman, just so that I have an option for long range, as I'm not going to use magic. I think I want to use both heavy and medium armor. Let's go for athletics to be able to run away from the zombies. I think in the two major, other majors, I need to go with alchemy and security. As I need to be self depend well, Yeah, I need to rely on myself to find the things I need to survive. I think I'll keep spear. It's another alternate weapon that I can help train up my endurance. And for the last two... I guess acrobatics will be nice to be able to move. And armor, of course, to be able to repair my gear. This is looking pretty good. Let's continue. Very good. The letter that preceded you mentioned you were born under a certain sign. And what would that be? I was born under the sign of the steed. I don't normally pick the steed anymore because you don't really need speed in, in Morrowind, although it's real useful. But yeah, let's go with that. Interesting. Now, before I stamp these papers, make sure this information is correct. 60 health, 190. Long blade, 50. Okay, everything's looking good. My... I guess spear is probably not as useful as I want it to be. I don't have... Probably won't use it unless I want to grind my endurance. Okay, it looks good so far. Let's go. 
Show your papers to the captain when you exit to get your release fee. Doesn't say anything different. Can I talk to you? A suggestion. Get yourself a more suitable outfit unless you don't mind being mistaken for a slave or a pauper. He offers training. Okay. No, I won't grab anything. Continue we'll... through to the next Let's building go. and talk to Celis Gravius. Close the store. You should learn how to do combat. Pick up the dagger on the table. Equip the dagger by dropping it on your picture. That doesn't really matter to me. Um, get the long blade. Actually, I'm just going to grab everything. I'm going to need to sell this shit. Grab the spear. You can see loads of gear here. Does it not actually say to hired Imperial mercenaries? Feel free to take whatever weapons, armors, or provisions you need to survive these hostile lands. Sullius Gravius. Will do, Mr. Sullius. Take the food. Now that I think of it, because I have alchemy. There's some spells. Take those even though I probably won't use them. Go over here in the back and take all the ingredients. I think alchemy is going to be really beneficial. Help me survive. Yes. Oh, we can hear the Hurry zombies. this up, will you? Bondusius Nucius. Yes, what do you want? If you're looking to get out of Sadine, I'll be happy to give you a little advice. Well, you're still here, so why would I take your advice? I've heard that the Ashlands to the north have become more accommodating to the living compared to the more fertile and populated south. Just avoid the usual diadra, cliff racers, and other wildlife. Yeah, just. Fargoth, do you have anything to say? Are you the one that the boat dropped off? I just see a boat arrive this time of day. Hope the Imperials treated you okay. I swear they took my rain. Oh, uh, no, sorry. I haven't seen your rain. It's the exact same dialogue, so I don't really care. Take the ring. Gonna need it most likely. Your Celis papers, Gravius. please. First, let me take your identification papers. Thank you. Word of your arrival only reached me yesterday. I am Sullius Gravius, but my background is not important. I'm here to welcome you to Marwind. Yes, welcome to Marwind. As I'm sure you may have noticed on your way inside, Sadine isn't exactly safe. But we have fortified the offices and the warehouse here to the best of our abilities. So long as you stay inside, you have nothing to worry about. Make sure you supply yourself from the armory in the dining room back the way you came. I have authorized you a full access. Full access. But before you go, I have instructions on your duties. Instructions from the Emperor, so pay careful attention. This package came with news of your arrival. I don't know all the details, need to know and all that. But the Emperor has put his trust in you to find a way to stop the corpus infection by any means necessary. It's up to you to find a way to do that. Oh, and if the supplies in the armory aren't adequate... Here's a little spending money. Speak to Ari, who's set up in the warehouse across the street. 
Okay. So he gave me some Dwemer schematics. What do I need to do? Can't read those. Adventure Trito, Imperial Mercenary. It is by His Majesty's authority that you, Trito, are to officially inst instated into the Imperial Order of the Blades and serve under His Majesty's direct orders. His Majesty's particular wishes are as follows. Fire and fails in ruins amidst the, an unholy plague which is known to corrupt and mutate the host into mindless husks. Knowing nothing but the will of Dagoth Ur, the tribunal devil of Red Mountain, the tribunal gods of Marwind have gone silent and abandoned their people, leaving the fight against Dagoth Ur and his corpus flag solely on the shoulders of his majesty's empire. All is not lost, however. Local blade sources have uncovered information regarding have uncovered information regarding an eccentric Tilvani lord with vast information regarding the properties of Corpus and how it may be defeated. You are to locate Davith Fry, Tilvani Lord of Tel Fry, and assist him in preventing the spread of Corpus infection and defeat Dagoth Ur and his minions. You will be provided Dwemer schematics to be used as tribute to the Tilvani Lord. For Akatasha's sake, sake, do not lose it. I wish you well on your journeys, Kratos, adventurer. Galbriel Belisius, personal secretary of the Emperor. <laughs> well, thank you, secretary of the Emperor. I will do your tasking. Okay, so let's see the damage. Don't tell me you can walk through doors, no. Okay. They can't open doors, so that's fine. I can just lock myself in places, but then getting out will be hard. I'll deal with you guys in a bit. Let me go talk to Ari. No, he's right here. You have something to say to me? Welcome to Ari's Trade House. I'm Ari, publican and proprietor. I don't take what doesn't belong to you. You're a new face here. If you want to buy from me, you have to barter. If you want a little advice, feel free. Free to new customers. Just ask. Any rumors? If you plan to head to Valmora, think again. Last I heard, they got completely overrun. Okay. Any advice? Make sure you bring intervention spells with you when you go out of the safe zones. I can tell you now that they are a lifesaver. Yes, I was just thinking that, Ari. Okay, let me sell some junk to you. I discovered if I shift click, I can sell things. I don't know if I'd forgotten that or. Or what, but here we're, here it is. So the dagger, we don't need the, the dagger. So the light armor, not gonna need it. So the axe. The blunt weapon. Keep the ingredients for now. Okay, that's all I can sell. What can I buy here? Do you have any health potions? Cheap restore health. Okay. Just buy that for now. I could use the Divine Intervention Scroll if you have it. Helm City. What would that even take me? Okay, so now, did the mod change how the intervention scrolls work? Or if I use this, am I going to end up in, in Temple of Vec and someone's going to try to kill me? Surrounded by zombies. 
not quite sure. But yeah, I think I need to steal a bit of this junk they have here. Pretty sure Ari will be able to buy all of this. Since it shouldn't be marked as his property. I learned out the hard way that if you go and steal his stuff in his trade house, he will get real mad with us. Oh, look at this nice heavy armor. Save hey, just in case. Never know. We saw this junk, loot this trade house and all, go outside. Okay, so I've set up a little base upstairs in the tower, stored the ingredients that I found. I looted everything as I could and sold it to Ari. I've got this so far. I've got a couple hundred arrows, a few throwing stars. I made a bunch of fatigue potions with all the ingredients I found. And also bought a couple health potions and made another health potion. We have some lockpicks, some apprentices hammers, an engraved ray, ring of healing. A little bit of skooma, obviously intervention scroll. And the bow, so we're set. Stay out of trouble and you won't get hurt. We'll do, guy. Take care of my shit. Let's go outside and try to start thinning, thinning out the herd of zombies. Okay, let me try to shoot them a bit. I'm not good with my bow, so this may take a while. Okay, second one dead. Oh, another one's joining the party. Used on my chitin arrow, so I'm gonna see if I can hit them with a spear from up here. Oh, he can hit me. What if I sneak? Oh, I can't hit them from up here with a sword. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh, 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 oh! I had it saved. That's awkward. Okay, let's go rest inside here. Go ahead, stranger. I'm going, guard. I'm going. Okay, so it's pretty dangerous. They can't hit me from up here. Okay, I finally got one of the Imperial Guard Zombies. Just been stabbing at them. I'm on top of the gate. Hopefully can clear these guys out quick. He seems to be the last guy. Let me take another potion. And I'll just hop down and fight him. I can, I can let him in. Okay. That's another thing. Come on in. That's a death match, you and me. Okay, so we cleared out some of the corpus walkers. I'm not gonna dispose of the corpse, so that they don't respawn. We see what goodies I've got here. Some medium armor greaves. Do I drop here? Yeah, are there any more? 
two more over there. One over there. Okay, let me go sell these goods back to Ari. So I sold my goods, bought some more lockpicks. Let me try to lure in some more zombies. Use my bow to try to draw them for me. It's not that many. If I get overwhelmed, I'll go. Equip my arrows here. Get back. Stand back, zombie. Trying to draw this guy over towards me. I can hear something behind me. Back here, zombie. back. I'm back. Let's, let's go in and clear the lighthouse, meanwhile. Stand down, zombie. You're no match for me. What else I can loot in here? A bunch of ingredients. Yes, I need those. All the gold I can get. Look at all that salt rice. If I can unlock this. Odd gold, not really worth it, but oh well. Some grief, some bread, take that. Take the book to sell. Just looting everything. Okay, so there's another corpus guy over there. Mud crab. I see the body. Wait, no, it's over there. No, you can't see it, I guess. The plan is I'm going to clear out all of Sadeline. I need to gain some levels, practice my skills a bit. So let's start out with the shacks. We'll kill the zombie behind here and clear out with these shacks. Use, I can use all the ingredients I can get from them. I'm down. Bad zombie. I have loads of corpus weepings. 
to remember if I can make any good potions with those. Shuttle. Give it all to me, baby. Get it all to me. I won't bother selling any of the little things. Die, zombie. Just start thinking, what are my next steps here? Where do I want to go? Balmora seems to be overrun from everything I've seen and heard. It would be nice to be able to go loot some stuff there. A Pelagaya. Although maybe I should stick to the close. To the close to the ocean. Good, an empty house. Take all the ingredients. Get out of here. Another empty house. That should be all the shacks. So many good ingredients here. Take that. I do need at least one levitate potion to take to talk to Dabith Fry. So that will be one of my main objectives. I need to go see him, but obviously I need to gain levels to be able to adventure safely. Oh, I should have been picking up these ingredients. Oh, you know what? Let me go back. There's there's the axe and the tree and some money over here. Give me a cup and the money. Oh, come on. My acrobatics are terrible. Oh, of course, I'm too heavy. Excuse me, guard. Out of my way. So I've... I prepared my weapons, made more potions. Let me continue clearing out say his name. I'll pick these on the way back. Okay. Should I just yeah, let me just kill these guys. Drawing the weaker one first. Just hit him once for all these arrows I'm wasting. Oh God, I dropped my spear inside because I was overweight. Okay, let me go actually and pick up the spark axe that I forgot. 